Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new, my name is Louisa, you are watching Lulu C'est la vie and for today's video I am going to show you guys how I trim my fine wavy to curly hair at home. Um, this video has been requested on my channel for many years now and I, I, I never really felt confident enough to show the world how I do it. Um, but now I feel like I master my own little technique and I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, here's the disclaimer. I'm not a professional hairstylist. I've never been trained to cut hair, uh, but I have been cutting my own hair for many years now. Um, and I've also observed uh, a lot of hairstylists cut my hair. So I kind of know what I'm doing for myself. Uh, I'm going to try my best to show you how I do it, but it's on you guys if you want to try it it's it's really your decision as an adult <laughs> to do it or not and you know when you do things like that just keep uh, like keep it light and easy okay we don't need to cut everything at once we go step by step um the longer the better rock it for a few days and then go a little bit shorter all right so that was for the disclaimer now if you guys are enjoying the content of this video, please leave me a big thumbs up. If you think this video would help a friend in need, feel free to share it with them, or even better, share it on your social media. It really helps your girl out. If you are not subscribed yet to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that, that subscribe button. And lastly, don't forget to comment on the video. Let me know if you tried it, how it worked for you. Was it a yay or was it a nay? <laughs> I hope it was a yay. <laughs> And then voila, with no further ado, let's get into this video. So if you're like me and you're going to do this on your bed, you're going to need something to protect your bed from all the hair that you're going to cut. So I have a little tablecloth here that I'm going to put on my bed. <clears throat> but don't do this on your bed. Hey, don't do this on your bed. Do this in your bathroom. It's better. All right. What else are you going to need? You're going to need a detangling brush. This is my Lulu C'est la Vie available in the description box. A comb, a fine comb if you have fine hair like me. You're also going to need a scissors that is specifically made to cut hair and nothing else if possible. You're going to need some hairpins to um, put your hair away or things like that just so that you can separate your hair properly or a little I'm not sure I'm gonna use this but I'm definitely gonna use these ones again everything will be linked in the description box down below all right let's get this party started okay this is better all right so the first step is to detangle my hair dry so that I have a better idea of the overall shape of my hair. Hold on. Here, that should be a bit better. Okay, my mirror is right here, so I'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to detangle this nicely and it's going to give me an idea of the overall shape of my hair. All right, so here I am with my hair completely detangled. This is where my hair naturally wants to part. So I'm gonna take that in consideration when I cut my hair. What I want is a little bit more volume here. Like I want a little bit more volume here, but because my hair is so fine, um, I cannot lose too much density on the length or else um, the longer strain of hair is going to look like little rat tails at the back and I don't want that. So what I want to do right now is frame my face a little bit more because right now all of the layering is here. You see it's from my jaw all the way down. I want to start the layering a little bit higher, not much. See, I want, I want to go from here to here. Very simple, very small. Do I want a bang? I'm not sure. The thing is, I just cut a bang on my girlfriend, Christina, a couple weeks ago, and it looks so good on her that I kind of wanted to, it made me want to do one, you know? 
but I also know the struggle of growing a bang back. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a long one where the shortest, the shortest hair is going to be on my jawline. We're going to do that. Okay. I'm going to start with the bang and, and let's go. All right. So for the bang, I am going to bring all my hair from the middle here, the crown area. I'm going to go all the way down to my ear, which I'm going to show you in a second. Ow. Voila, you see, I'm going all the way down to my ear. Same thing on the other side. So I have the center here and I'm going all the way down to my ear. You see? All right, so I am ready with my bang. As you can see, my bang already has somewhat of a shape. Um, it's actually pretty straight, I have to say. It's pretty straight and I have the long one on the side. I am going to do more of a U shape, okay? More of a circular shape, a half circle shape. Um, and one thing that you must take in consideration if you have, especially if you have curly hair, if you have wavy hair, you can, it's, it's a little bit easier, but if you have curly hair, shrinkage. You have to know how your hair curls on your head because we don't, for most of us, we don't have the same curl pattern all over our head. Her head our head. Oh la la, je peux y arriver. For example, I have tighter curls on top and more wavy hair at the back of my head. So make sure you know how your hair curls on your head before you go and cut it, okay? I know that I have to take shrink it into consideration. Um, I don't want my bang to be super short. I want to keep it like between my nose and my and my jawline, like somewhere around here. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit longer than my chin. A little bit longer than my chin. Okay, so here I am. This is the length I'm, I have right now. And I think I'm gonna cut about an inch. Is that an inch? It's about an inch, okay? scissors and here we go so like I told you I kind of want uh, more of a U shape than a straight shape so I'm going on the sides here and using my fingers as a reference a little bit of an angle like this always one side that's harder than the other I'm a righty so my right side is a little bit harder for me to cut than my left is that right I'm not sure yes my right side is the angle is a little bit harder for me I want to take these two and make sure that they're about the same length. Yeah, just about close enough. They don't need to be exactly the same length, but they're close enough. Voilà. Okay, so what do we have? We have a shorter bang. Still with longer sides, but more of a degradé on each side. Okay? All right, my love. So my bangs are done for now. Now I'm going to start and do the crown area. The crown area is that area on the top of my head. Um, and I'm going to cut this area a little bit shorter um, than the rest of my hair so I can get a little bit more layering. So the crown area for me, I see where my eyes are or my eyebrows end. I have long eyebrows, so it's pretty much where your eyes are. And I'm just going all around. All right, so that's my crown area. Now I'm going to put the rest of my hair in a 
ponytail or a thing like this. Um, I'm going to take my bang out because I kind of want to not, I don't really want to put it in the middle of things. This is pretty much right here. My crown area. And I don't think you'll be able to see what I'm cutting. So I'm going to have to change the angle again. Hold on. Let me figure this out. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to separate in sections like this. Okay, so I have this section here. All right, so I have this first section here. I'm still in my crown area and I'm dividing horizontally at first, okay? So I cut it at an angle here. Okay, and I cut it straight up here. And this is my point of reference. Okay, you see how it falls from short to long? All my hair is going to fall like this. This is my point of reference. Now I'm going to take the other side. So I'm detangling that side. I'm going to take a little bit of here to see what length I have and I'm gonna follow this length on the top you see so this is where I cut before and I'm just gonna follow that length sure everybody's at pretty much the same the same length so that's for my first layer we're already so you have to make sure that this is kind of the same same length but you see how I already start having and that's not my hair is not even curly yet this is gonna curl like crazy but you can already see how much more volume I'm getting out of this okay all right I'm gonna go for the next section so I'm taking it from here I'm going in with my red tail and I'm taking another layer across Okay, same thing, I'm cutting in the middle right now, just because it's easier for me, I'm going to take the previous length, put it with the actual, so I have both layers right now, and I'm just going to try to find, yeah, I think we're here. And I'm just cutting the ends. I'm not going crazy, okay? We're trimming, we're refreshing. I'm not going for a brand new hairstyle. I'm just cutting the ends. So here you can see my previous layer falling off. And I don't mind getting the other layer a little bit longer. So we're gonna do it one more time, but this time I'm gonna do it up. And then I'm bringing it to the front. Okay, other side. I'm just gonna take this and a little bit of the previous so I know where I stopped. The longer your hair is, the harder it is to, to do. I can tell you that. 
Also, I could have cut on wet hair. I've cut in both wet hair and dry hair, and I think it. I like it better to cut it on dry hair because I can see um, the volume. On wet hair, everything's flat, so I'm not sure about the overall volume. But when I cut on dry hair, I see what volume I'm dealing with, which I like better. There's always one side that is that is less balanced than the other. But you can see, it looks like I have more hair on one side than the other. Here you go. But you can see that the volume is starting a little bit higher up. All right, I'm going to bring everything to the front. So cut like this so I'm not cutting in a straight line instead of cutting like this you can also cut like this just be careful not to cut your fingers you know okay this is what we're working with right now and it's not bad I'm gonna do the last section of my crown area the one right here there, this one. Actually, this one I'm going to divide it in three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to start with the middle right here. I'm going to take the previous and I'm going to bring it to the front so I can see what I'm doing. Lastly, this one right here. Voila, so now that I did everything horizontal, I'm going to redo everything vertical. Now I'm going to do it like this. I'm sorry if I don't show you I'm just very focused on what I'm doing <laughs> and then the last section right here voila okay crown area check bang check let's see what it looks like oh yeah baby I'm very rock and roll I'm feeling the rock and roll vibe my love Talk this way. All right, my loves, I am done trimming my hair and I'm pretty happy with the end result. We've got an overall shape, an overall layering that's pretty nice. It starts a little bit higher up than before, right? Before it was right about my jawline. Now it's more between, I want to say more like nose level. 
I wanted eye level but once my curls are gonna be formed I'm gonna have a lot of shrinkage so I think everything's gonna go up I just want to recap to make sure that we all are on the same understanding <laughs> because as I was trimming I was focusing on making sure everything was nice and layered and it was not always easy to show you guys how I was doing things so I'm just gonna recap with you guys I first started with my bangs um, my bangs I, st I like to take like the kind of like the top of my head and then go all the way to my ears that's always how I do my bangs so I'm gonna do it one more time with you guys from the top of my head to my ears and that is my bangs area and my bangs the way I cut them like I was explaining it's more of a u-shape don't go too high up I like to keep it around my uh, my uh, comment tu dis menton uh, my chin uh, a little bit longer than my chin actually just to make sure that once the curls are formed I don't have a crazy shrinkage now if you want a short bang you want to go around between your mouth and your nose area and after the shrinkage you should have something around your eyes always start longer rock the style for a day or two and if it's still too long then go a little bit shorter you know it's better safe than sorry um, but worst case scenario your hair is going to grow back but you don't want to go too short to begin with all right so once the bang is done i'm going to do the crown area and the crown area is pretty much the top of your head i do a square i go from eye level straight across okay boom other side eye level straight across boom and then the back i'm not sure let me do it first up and then the back i'm going to take the bottom part and i'm going to put it in like a, a little ponytail whatever you can find okay so this is my crown area okay i'm going to take out the bang right It's not the exact same bang that I did earlier, but it's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. So now this area is very important. It's the part where you're going to spend the most time. And I cut it in two ways. The first way is by doing horizontal sections. So this is what I call an horizontal section. This right here is an horizontal section okay and you want to bring it to the front make sure everything is straight that you can see what you're doing and then you're gonna cut it cut 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 okay and you're gonna do that in every section until you're done with your crown area once you're done with your horizontal section we're gonna do vertical sections take your rat tail and then you're going vertically you're gonna brush your hair so that's my vertical section right here I'm not sure if you can see it hold on you cannot so that's a vertical section right here I'm gonna brush it bring it to a place where I can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna cut straight 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 down and then I'm gonna put it up and then I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna put it up like this bringing in front and cut straight 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 okay so two angles one down one up and then you let go of everything and you look at the overall shape of your hair see where your hair wants to part naturally um, I don't touch this part because it's the finest part of my hair and it's less forgiving and it doesn't curl as well as the top part of my hair and it's really hard for me to make the adjustment between the two personally I don't see a big difference between the top and the bottom layers they kind of blend with each other nicely um, we'll see once my hair are curling what we're getting um, but once you put everything 
down and your hair parts where it naturally wants to part you want to see if everything is balanced so once in a while you want to take the same section on opposite side like here and then you want to put it bring it to the front and see if they end approximately at the same level if one lets go faster than the other that means that you have one side that is shorter than the other and you want to readjust that but if you did the whole process kind of like how I showed you um, you should have a balance length from one side to the other okay um, if you want to see better just part your hair in the middle and you'll have a better idea of how balanced your hair is is that the middle that's not the middle ah, kind of is a little bit you know ah, that's the middle so you patch your hair in the middle and you see if you have the same length on both sides. I pretty much do. Yeah. Yeah. Looks pretty balanced. Again, we have fine wavy to curly hair, so it's very forgiving. It's not like straight hair where you see right away if one layer is crooked or whatnot okay all right so this is what we're working with right now i'm gonna go in the shower i'm gonna wash style and diffuse and i'll come back in front of you guys to show you the end result oh let me show you the back real quick voila i'll see you in a sec okay here we are I am done styling and diffusing my hair. Here's the end result. I hope you guys can see it. Um, hold on, let me raise you up a little bit because you're missing the top of my head. There we go. Okay, here we go. This is the end result. Um, it's a very, very slight difference. I didn't cut a lot of hair. I, I really just trimmed the end. Um, but you can see that the volume starts about here, which is still higher than where it was before. It was before my cascade of hair was like from the jawline down. Now I'm more at the nose level, right? Also, notice how my fringe reaches my mouth, right? Remember where I cut it? I cut it about an inch and a half below my chin. And look at the shrinkage this is where I approximately where I cut it look at the shrinkage okay so take that in consideration know where and how your hair curls how much take in consideration how much shrink, shrinkage you're gonna have and make sure you don't cut a lot cut a little bit of it at a time you can always come back and cut a little bit shorter if after rocking your style a few days you still think it's too long okay but if you cut too short this is it we can put the hair back it's got it's got <laughs> okay so better safe than sorry hey my love so sorry for the interruption but i wanted to come in here real quick to give you guys a little update it is currently two days later okay so i filmed this on a monday right now it's wednesday um after wearing my hair like that for one day i decided to go in a little bit shorter and cut the top layer of my hair a little bit shorter in the bang area i am going to insert footages right now to show you how i did this um i took a very skinny section of my crown area that's all really on the top of my head and I went ahead and cut everything a little bit shorter using exactly the same technique that I just showed you in this video. And this, my love, is the end result. This is the final, final result. I am loving it. I am currently just done filming a video where I show you how I'm styling this current hairstyle, what product I use, and how I style my hair. So stay tuned for that. It's coming for you next weekend. But for now, let's just go back and finish this video. Love ya. 
Um, I hope that I was able to show you the angles properly on how I do things. But as I was doing it, I realized that it's really hard to cut my own hair. So that's really hard. Well, it's not that hard, but you know, it need, you need to concentrate on what you're doing. And it was hard for me to cut my hair and show you the angle at the same time. That's why at the end, just before I got in the, into the shower, I wanted to go over each step one more time to show you exactly how I part and how I cut. And I hope that was clear enough. Let me know in the comment section. I also hope that this video is not too, too long, but I have a feeling that it's going to be because it is quite a long process to cut your own hair. Uh, if you're still here, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. And uh, don't forget to give me a, bit, a, a big thumbs up. This also helps me out. All right, my loves, I think this is all I have to say about my hair. Let me show you the back real quick. And then the side view on this side. And the side view on that side. So voila, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I will see you guys next week with a new video. Until then, my love, stay happy, stay healthy, have a beautiful life. Au revoir et à bientôt. <laughs> hey, c'est la vie.